Welcome to the GeoJot Plus tutorial series. In this session, you will learn how to create and distribute data collection lists for your field teams. Using the GeoJot Plus field data collection system, you have the ability to make an unlimited number of attribute lists. This flexibility means that GeoJot Plus can be used to meet your data collection needs across your organization. The possibilities are unlimited. So let's get started. We'll begin by demonstrating the creation of data collection on your mobile device by opening our Android and clicking on GeoJot Plus. Now we're at the home screen. To create a list, you click on the attribute list. And here you will see some sample lists that are already there. But we'll create a new list by clicking on the plus symbol. Once we create a new list, we'll go ahead and give it a name. We'll be creative and call it New List. Now you see your new list. We can add information to it by clicking on the arrow. And the first thing we'll want to do is add attributes. Attributes are the categories of information you're going to collect about your field data. The first category we're going to show you is just color. And under color, we have a few different options. We can make this a required field. That means that field teams, when they take a picture, will be required to enter information on this attribute. By having the allow typing box checked, people in the field teams can type in additional information beyond the drop-down list that you create. If you uncheck that box, they'll be forced to choose from the drop-down list. The default value allows you to enter a default value, which will show up automatically for the field teams when they enter this attribute. You can leave that blank if you want. And the attribute type is an advanced feature that we'll talk about in the advanced feature um, video, but for now you can just leave it be. So we'll go ahead and say OK. Now that we have our attribute type, we're going to go ahead and click on color and we can add actual values. Here we'll just type in a couple of different colors people might encounter in the field. Very good. Now we have our attribute list. When we go back home, we'll go back to the list here, and you can see there's our new list, and it is selected. So the next time you take photos, you'll be using that list. Let's go ahead and show you how that works. We'll go ahead and take a photo of a sign right now. Once we take the photo, we'll be brought to the attribute list where we can enter the data. The field teams will be doing this by just clicking drop down and there you go. You hit save and you're all done. That's all there is to creating a list on your mobile device. Now you can have up to 40 different attributes in any given list and that's a lot of data entry to do on your mobile device. Most people prefer to do that on the desktop. To do that we'll go ahead and show you the GeoJot Plus Core. This is the portion of GeoJot that runs on your desktop. When you open up Core this is the start page you'll see. To create attribute lists, you simply go and open the attribute editor under the tools section. There's the list editor. And now you'll see a blank form. On the left hand side is where you can type in an attribute, like we just did on the mobile device. So for instance, we will do color again. And on the right side is where you would enter the things that will show up in the drop down menu. In the middle, you can see all the same kinds of categories, type, whether it's required, whether there's typing allowed, and you can enter in any default values. So you can do this manually just like you did on the mobile device. Another option is to copy onto your um, clipboard from a list you might have somewhere else, whether in Word or a data dictionary, and then using the paste button to paste it in. But the fastest option is to import your list from Excel. So to show you how that works, we're going to go over to Excel quickly. This is an Excel spreadsheet we already have set up. The top row shows the names of the attributes. This is an example of a street sign inventory that we're going to collect. And here we're going to want to say the type of sign, we're going to enter a barcode, we're going to say which action required, and so forth. Underneath each one, it shows the drop-down values that we want to appear in the list. So this is our Excel spreadsheet. It's got a name. We're going to go back to Core now and import it. Here we are in Core. We click the Import button. We find our list. We say Import. And there it is. You'll see on the left-hand side, those are all the columns with the attributes. And as you click through those, you can see on the right-hand side the values for each list. 
That's all there is to it. Now one new feature, an additional feature that you have in course, the ability to lock the list. That means once you lock it, no one in the field can change anything about it. They simply have to use the list you created. Once you're satisfied with your list, and you've decided to unlock or lock it, you go ahead and save your list. And give it a name. And then you're going to go ahead, we've already done this before, but we'll go ahead and save it. And then you're going to go ahead and email it to everyone in your field team. That will get the list to the mobile device. Once you've emailed it, we'll go back to the mobile device. And we'll show you how to bring it in. There we are. So here's our mobile device. Now what we're going to do is open up the email that you should have just received. And you'll see the list that you just created as an attachment. When you open it, you give it permission for GeoJot Plus to use it. Now, when you go into GeoJot Plus and click on Attribute Lists, you'll see the list you just created right there. You can go ahead and select it. If you view it, you'll see that it has all the same attributes that you created on the desktop. And that's all there is to it. That concludes this video. We hope that you view the other videos for GeoJot Plus. Um, and enjoy.